Hello boys, my name is Kaliyoshi, and once again you are watching my 100% playthrough of Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle for the Nintendo Switch. This is the main story playthrough, not Donkey Kong Adventure, but we'll get to that in a minute. In the last video we left off pretty much finishing all of the other chapters 100% cleared, and all the chests 100% cleared. Now we just have one thing left. That is, um, do, um, mostly challenges, but also some ever special challenges. I am going to segment this, of course, in different things to make it easier, but this will probably be the longest part, and just so that I don't take forever, I'm gonna jump straight into it. And yes, I did do a bit of money grinding to work towards the buying all weapons. I wasn't kidding when I said I was was gonna get everything, although I kind of wish I didn't go for all the weapons because some of them are kind of hard to get. Anyway, we're gonna be in the lava pit for this section, and it looks like we have to do do have to go to the special challenges ourselves. If I'd known about that, I probably wouldn't have revealed them, but eh, whatever. We'll start with lava pit from boon to boon in this episode. Starting with the so-called super hard challenge right off the bat. Then again, that's kind of, you could kind of say the same thing for all battles in this chapter. They expect that you have a lot of ribs by now, so the battles are actually legitimately difficult now. So we actually have to kind of think. From here on out, I probably will not be resetting unless we absolutely have no choice. Let's see here. We have a defeat all with a three turn limit. Our characters are kind of separated. I forgot what team comp I used, so I'm gonna see. Uh. Hmm. I'm sure Rabbit Barya needs to be in, but I think I want Yoshi as well. I'm gonna try to use Yoshi a bit more in these battles if I can. <laughs> so a different character is better. I might change that. Now, you don't have to protect all of your characters, thankfully, in most of these challenges. So some of them can get killed. It doesn't matter. You'll still get the challenge clear. You'll only fail if all of them get defeated at the same time. Okay, we can't do anything else with weapons yet because we haven't gotten any orbs. So let's just go straight into the battle. Looks like we're in kind of a terrible spot for Mario right off the bat. He's not nearly near enough enemies, and near as Rabbit Mario or anything else. So we've pretty much been separated from our characters, and we basically have three separate zones our characters start in. Which is not really good to start with. I think, to start things off, I want Yoshi to just straight up uh, go over here and not care about anything. And from here, Rabbit Bar Regular Mario is pretty much gonna have to move into a bow. There's pretty much no way to do anything different, so... What I'm gonna do is try to have him ideally take some stuff with him. But other than that, uh, yeah. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. The it is really in such a bad spot that it's pretty much guaranteed that it is gonna take Mario away. So we have no choice but to let that happen. Of course, we can do at least something while we wait, and I'm gonna see, what should I take out? Oh, there's this guy over there. Uh, I'm gonna go for the more high health target. And, of course, yeah, it just hits the cover. Not surprised at all. It's almost like I'm not allowed to hit the enemies right away. Uh, sure, I'll hit them. It's probably better than doing nothing. I'll dash the ones that are weaker probably first, because uh, I am going to use my combo attack here in a minute. Oh, actually, even better. Yoshi stars an attack, right? I almost forgot about that. Okay, well, I don't think I want to actually use Magnet Dance right away. 
instead what I want to do is probably move him to like right here and actually attack this enemy instead but still weaken the other ones obviously but I'm gonna go here I think instead and then just attack him like this Since this is a later mission, by the way, and I don't know what I'm doing, expect me to take quite a while to set up my turns. It's just kind of a normal thing for me. Since starting here, this pretty much is now a full blind playthrough. I have no idea what I'm doing, so... I kind of just have to hope for the best. I'm actually not going to use my crit buff now that I think of it. Instead, I'm going to use my egg beater. I think that'll do more damage overall, and it'll let me set up for a combo later. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to attack this enemy right in the face for some damage. And then, because Mario was not able to avoid the boo, he pretty much is going to be forced moved. But that's convenient because he's put right next to a spot where he can attack enemies of his own. Now we have to deal with more boos. Alright, and now, if she attacks back... Nice! He actually defeated that enemy right away. I was not expecting him to do that right away, but that works. Alright, I was gonna move over and get stomped by that. Oh, I should Okay, this guy's gonna retreat. Don't like that. Okay, a lot of this might seem kind of RNG based and Okay. Hmm, Yoshi's in kind of a terrible spot. Other than his crit buff, he can't really do much anything else. Except maybe use his rocket, so maybe that's what I'll do. What do we want to rocket though? Well, first I should actually check where everybody is first. Uh, can't really target that one. Uh, probably the safest method is probably just take out this other enemy who's already over there. There we go. One last enemy to worry about. And then, I guess Yoshi are just gonna move as close as you possibly can, but still hide, I guess, somewhere. In that case, maybe we'll put you here instead. Alright, then we'll just go straight to Rabbit Mario's turn instead of wasting our time. Looks like, um, well, to get this set- Oh, I just realized the characters moved. They're not in the same spot as I expected. Kind of an interesting segment here, but... We should still be able to make it work, it's just might be a bit more scarier than I expected. Well, if that's the case, I think if I can, I'll try to dash that enemy a bit, but, uh, man, this is actually kind of awkward. We're not really in a good setup to take out both of these enemies right away. Easy way to defeat them, guaranteed. I don't want I haven't Mario to get teleported yet either. Okay, okay, uh, that's what I was wondering about. Will this character move through the pipe? And sure enough, he can. Well, in that case, it's actually pretty easy. We'll just vampire these two guys in to take them out, and. Uh, yeah, Mario will probably just dash now, and we should only have one enemy left now. I will, I think, um, not go for the full attack power, though, since he can be defeated by Rabbit whenever he moves, potentially, or I guess regular Mario when he moves, potentially. So, what I'll do instead is actually move up from here so I get the advantage of the high ground damage bonus and that in itself should be enough to take out this enemy yep called it all right so now we just need to take out enemy and we should be good and I guess the problem is it might be too far away now 
because of the two. But we'll see. He's probably gonna move closer to us. Or at least attempt to. Yep, there we go. There goes Mario, and yeah, just like that, uh, the battle is done. It took a while to set up our turns, but then again, all these battles are kind of hard. Anyway, expect to see us comp a lot, because uh, this is decent comp for AoE. There is technically one that's better, but I'll probably use that later. All I can say is these challenges are going to probably get more tricky. Anyways, ooh, there's a nice Zelda 1 reference. It's dangerous to go alone. Probably a Toad mission, if I may ask. Because, well... This is probably either a toad or a swimming mushroom or whatever. We're, we're gonna probably have to escort someone, right? That's probably what usually happens here. Yep, and in fact, we do have to escort Spawny, but... Oh, look where he's placed. Wait, we're literally on the separate spot, and we can't even use a Legi to move over anymore. Ooh, this is tough. Well, it's actually a pretty straightforward setup. I'm just gonna go with the team that I usually use on this. I don't want to mess things up, <laughs> nor do I want to waste any extra time either. But other than that, it's kind of interesting battle area. We start kind of similar to the way we set up in the first battle area, but the big difference is now we are on the higher ground compared to the enemies, and we start so far away that we can't even uh, save Spawny from the impacts, so this actually becomes kind of a tricky uh, strat now. And we still have enemies back there, but thankfully that's fine. And we also have a bunch of Smashers over here. Oh man, this looks very intimidating. Thankfully we can at least move Spawny a little bit right away, so we'll probably just do that right off the bat. <laughs> One thing I am going to check, though, is can Luigi go over to the other side? He can. That's probably what I'm going to do with him. But first, before I do that with him... We're going to move Mario first, have him dash that enemy, and stop this one. And we'll tackle this enemy first with Mario. There we go. One less enemy to worry about. Peach will just use shield right away. But I'll have her move to a separate area. Actually, wait. Hmm. I should check Luigi's spawn first, because he's going to be very close to in the right spot. So we'll do that first, actually. Let's see. Hmm. Not gonna get much range, but hopefully that should still be enough. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anything is needed, so I'm gonna use Steely Stare with Luigi right off the bat. That can actually help finish off the iron enemies. Alright. Okay, this is what I want to check, actually. Can Peach reach that enemy? No. Then we pretty much have no choice what to do. I think Peach should just fire at this other enemy or go close to it and defeat that. So we don't have these extra enemies attacking us this turn. But otherwise, Luigi is going to immediately double chain jump. And he's going to do so over here. And... I, I guess he could technically skip having Luigi go over to the side, but I'd rather do this because, like, it's tempting not. It's very tempting to not do this. 
It's like... I'm worried. The disasters could easily reach him. So by doing that, we pretty much guarantee that he survives. Hmm. I think probably actually, I'm not gonna lie, I think I am actually tempted to take out that other shield enemy first, because they can be kind of annoying to defeat later. And that Ziggy, I can pretty much take out whenever I want. In fact, Mario or Luigi might defeat it with their Steely Stair slash Heroes. Hero Excite. This, this is a bit trickier. So, you know what? I'm just gonna fire it first. That's probably better. Yeah, see. There we go. And we'll take out those enemies the next turn, and we could always just dash this in later. I don't even care if he uses his uh, attack combo. It's not gonna really matter in the long run. That one actually tried to attack us, but nothing happened. Alright, well, we know that Spawny's gonna get hit if we don't do anything. Now, this guy does have ink, by the way. If you get stacking me very bad. I'm gonna have... Let's see here. We'll just have Peach try to bait the... Rabbit Peach, that is. And focus on this target over here. I know there's an automatic bounce with that enemy, but I can't afford to waste extra attacks on those guys right now. It's better that we just... Ooh, okay, that works. Alright. Now we can use uh, Itchy Feet with Luigi do some stuff. Can't really do anything. I'll just fire for fun. I know it doesn't hit anything, but it's better than doing nothing. Ah, just barely not enough to hit that guy either. But this time, it's not because of his attack thing. I think it's because of his power. Yeah, so I'll just do that, I guess. And then heal. And probably send Rabbit Peach over next turn. Oh, cool. That can actually take them out in one shot. Alright. Alright. So this is the only opponent we should have to deal with attacking. Oh, oh, well, hang on. We have some more enemies to deal with. We should probably keep our characters up here. Yeah, in fact, we should have Mario just attack right away. And have Peach also attack right away. Now that enemy should be gone. We'll keep moving Spawny. Since I can't move him to the right side edge, I think I'll move him just farther away. <laughs> he will not be targeted. Although, other characters are closer. I guess one thing I should do, probably. Keep Luigi about here and have him use a Steely Stare now. Not gonna use my buffs. I'm just gonna pass the turn fat to make this go faster. And now we pretty much have to let these enemies do their attacks. But hopefully, the only stair will now just, yeah, just eliminate all three of them. Well, this is definitely one use of uh, Steely Stair's extra damage. That's for sure. Alright, uh, don't have to really do anything with Mario and Luigi. They can just... Mario and Peach... Uh, Rabbit Peach, that is. They can just remain there, and then we'll just move Spawny some more. By the way, I'm honestly not surprised that Escort Spawny is the one here, instead of Toad or Toadette, because it's like, well, we've already played with mm, Toadette enough, so it's like... 
Maybe we should do something different. Okay, other than that, um, not much we can do. So, probably safe to say the easiest strat is to just keep passing the turn after Spawny's move. That's like the only fast way we can get through this. And just like that, it's actually not that hard of a battle, really. The only tricky part was dealing with all those enemies at the beginning, but I think Luigi moving over there was definitely the strat. I'm glad I figured that out. So, yeah. Not bad of a battle, all things considered. Now we're moving on to the next part. It was still a long battle, but this time it was for something different. Alright, now we have Factory Direct. By the way, this might end up being the longest segment of my video for a while, but honestly, I don't care because um, I want to get this done early if I can. And I think it's easier to set this all in front of videos so that people know how to do the challenges all at once. Okay, so this one is actually different. We don't have to defeat the regular enemies. We just have to defeat the mid-bosses. However, there are four of them, and they are very, very far away in a <gasps> of the map where we can't hit them. Hmm. Well, I certainly still need Luigi, but I don't think Rabbit Peach is the play anymore. In fact, what I'm going to do is I think I need Rabbit Mario again. But we're going to need to make sure our movement is max, because holy crap, that's a very far away spot we have to get to. Thankfully, it is maxed on most of them. Well, speaking of which, did Mario get his extra attack thing yet? No, but I think one thing I should probably do now. I don't think I really care for dash damage, so what I'm going to do actually is mage, and then just start working on his high ground bonus. Then, other characters will probably just ignore for now, save time. Uh, Luigi doesn't have anything. If I have Mario doesn't have anything, if I gave him anything, it would probably be magnet range, but we still need a lot more orbs to do that. Alright, well, enough of that. Let's uh, begin the battle. Oh, I, I guess I need to actually change, make sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's the right team. All right, we're gonna fight now. Oh wow, we're separated pretty far too. I don't think Mario can reach that on turn one. So at minimum, we are gonna take damage for something, but this is a four turn limit battle. So we can use that to our advantage. However, Luigi can't reach Mario to the other character to feed without doing safety. So I think what we're gonna actually do instead is set up a hero site with Mario and a steely stare for Luigi to try and tackle at least a couple of these opponents. Yeah. Probably be easier to just keep Mario here if anything. And Mario don't really care about your position because you are going to use uh, kind of a protection spell. It's going to be Bodyguard. Alright, what do we want to hit? Probably this is better, so let's do this. At least hit them. Of them. Are you kidding me? That didn't even tackle the enemy. Well, let's use this, actually, instead, then, in that case. Yeah, that's probably better. Alright, that worked. We took out one of the enemies. That was one of the mid-bosses that I was going to take out anyway. Ooh! Okay, it doesn't say that I'm in range. That's annoying. Alright. Well, since that's the case, we're going to have to move Mario a little bit as well, actually. I didn't want to move Mario, but I guess I don't have much choice if I want to at least attack the enemy. And yeah, figures it's gonna hit the cover. Pretty much knew that would happen, let's be honest. Okay, Mario does get moved, but that's fine. I don't really care. 
That's if I had moved him there, maybe I would have worked better. That burn kind of messed me up, though. All right, well. Now these guys are probably just gonna stay up top, if I imagine. Oh wow, we took out one of them at least. Well, that kind of messed us up. We still want to use itchy feet with Aliji, but now we have to kind of do it in a way that changes our setup a bit. All right, Mario, you're gonna bait out the attacks here. I don't care if it makes you that like, frozen. It's not gonna matter in the long run anyway. All right, Mario. Epic Mario. We want to team jump to where they are. We'll tackle this one first. I actually was gonna just use an AoE attack to pull them over, but turns out we don't need that. It's actually the main reason I brought Rabbit Mario was to use the Bangnet, but the ice kind of ruined that, but that's fine. We get to punish him in our own unique way instead. That we get to hammer the crap out of this guy. Because why not? We don't like good bosses after all, they're kind of mean, right? Anyways, that's the end of that. Not actually that hard of a battle. And the one enemy that was left, our hero site kind of took care of it. So that was definitely the play this battle, that's for sure. Have you just Mario and Luigi for a lot of these battles is actually one of the better strategies considering how many enemies you can take out with just their abilities alone. They're definitely very broken. Of course, we can't use them in all the battles because Luigi might just die if we have too much damage. Anyways, we have another super hot challenge. This one is called Creep Convention. Probably signaling that there are a lot of enemies in this one, but we'll see what this actually ends up being. On that, yeah. Like I said, the challenges are all going to be blind for me, basically. Meaning I not played them before this video, so all these are new to me. Okay, this is si looks simple enough just to defeat all battle, except there are a lot of enemies again. Very intimidating amount of enemies here, that's for sure. Bit too much for Luigi to handle, so I think we'll put in Rabbit Mario still, but have Rabbit Peach there support now as well. Alright. What do I want to even take out first? Because there are some other enemies I want to lure in, but at the same time, I almost don't want to lure in anyone. <laughs> uh, so awkward. Well, um... I personally don't know what to do besides using hero shots, so I'm gonna start by actually just doing Mario's turn to maybe make this a bit more straightforward. And then I think I'll team jump both Peach and characters away from this spot. Okay, that works. So uh, we can use Peach to take that opponent out later, but I think I'm going to focus on doing my turn that I want to do with Rabbit Mario first, so we'll team up Rabbit Mario over here, and then we'll use them to take out these other enemies that are not the Smashers, and we'll draw them over as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> that triggers Mario's... I actually don't want to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Second thought, maybe I shouldn't have shot with Mayo. Now that I know that, like I said, there's a lot of this is trial and error. We I wanted to save Mario's turn for later, because we could defeat more of the enemies sooner. But anyway, um, I don't think I need... Alright, so I guess I don't need the uh, shot right away. I'll just set up Mario over here right away, and then go straight to Rabbit Mario's turn. That's how I'm going to fix this. Other than that, we're going to use the lure first. I honestly don't want to risk doing it without this, because, um, 
Because uh, we do want to make sure these guys die. So we'll do that first, even though it's probably not going to be as effective as doing stuff later. But hopefully, if main dance cooldown is maxed, we can hopefully get it done pretty quickly. And now we're going to double team this enemy. And again, we got another crit. This Lee really likes to get crits here. Uh, we can't dash finish this enemy, so we'll just attack it now instead of waiting for later. Alright, that works. Now we're going to do what I wanted to do before. We have Mario to Peach team jump. Uh, we'll throw her over here, I guess. And then probably shield her. In case some of these enemies us. Now the booze will go, which they can't, so they'll just teleport away. And now we've removed one of the major problems. There are no more ranged enemies, but now we have a lot of melee enemies in exchange, and they're very angry and probably going to do something really bad. Thankfully, we do have a Mario with hero sight, so we can he will take out one enemy for us. So we'll kind of just go around and uh, do whatever, I guess. Hmm. From here, I'll probably just have to kind of play this by ear. I think for starters, though, I am going to empower right off the bat. Looks like Mario is able to automatically eliminate one enemy, so I'm going to try and see if I can use that. Looks like I can't actually do that, so I'm going to have to just... Go for the crit, and it works. All right, cool. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to move Mario not too close, but close enough to where he can be in range of the pipe. And then I think I'm just gonna ask, send sentries out to do stuff. Maybe do a ranged attack for someone else. Actually, probably a safer bet is to just do this with a uh, page. Yeah, just remove that opponent altogether. And then, let's see. Uh, I don't want to move there, because that's automatically going to trigger the boo. It might trigger automatically by default, and there's not a lot we can do about it. Then we'll probably just have to shield with uh, Mario, because he's probably going to take a little bit of damage. But... I honestly don't care. As long as this Beta Dance come back by turn 3, we can probably finish the remaining enemies by learning to do the Beta Dance. So yeah, I am going to take a bit of extra damage with him, but he does have his shield up. So it is a little less damage than it would have been. But we can heal in the next turn after that. Uh, where does Peach go? Grab Peach. I think I actually probably better off just leaving you where you are, so I'll just skip the turn now. Later. Now, this will reset. Hopefully if I did the move right, Mario should be in range. We do have one turn of leeway, so I'm not too worried about this battle. I'm more worried about the fact that there's just a lot of these dangerous sanctuary enemies that can definitely do a lot of damage. And they did just ink my and Mario, so we have to make sure that he uh, gets cleansed this turn, too. I'm gonna just heal now. Have it later. Uh, then. Regular Mario is just gonna cleanse uh, Rabbit Mario. And I guess one thing he can do is weaken an opponent. Ah. <sighs> think it matters what opponent I weaken. I think I'm just gonna do this one honestly. Cause uh, that mm, is gonna be defeated anyways whenever we use our maiden in the dance. That we're probably better off just using it right now. Let's do that. Okay, well now we know who to target next. So Oh wow, they you didn't even lure in all of them. That's actually kind of bad. I did not know that that was going to happen. Well, at least we can fix part of the problem by AoE. But... Ah, 
I just realized I probably incorrect way, but I don't care. I wanted to do dashes since now Rabbit Mario's gonna have to move a bit. Spain. Okay, I want to make sure he's guaranteed to do that. We'll still hammer them. Make sure they get defeated. Right. Now, Mario, you're just gonna fire now. Okay, we can't do anything because we moved Peach in a bad spot. If I had known about that, if we wouldn't have done that on accident. Thank goodness there's a one turn Lily on this battle. Otherwise, I would have lost there. Alright, uh, because I messed up. I'm gonna just have Peach do this. I don't really care what Matt Peach does. As long as we, um, see how on it. it is what it is, it will be done. Not actually that bad of a challenge. Just took a while because there are more enemies. <sighs> Also, our major dance doesn't nearly lure as much as I thought it did, but it at least set up two of the enemies in a good spot, so I guess it wasn't terrible. And it made them close enough that we could dash them, at least. Alright, now we have no pain, no gain. And now our Supaha challenge. Do you really like throwing in the Supaha challenge? Yes, it's not super hard, if anybody's wondering. They literally call it... Ba hard with an A at the end. <laughs> I thought I should probably mention that. Anyway, no pain, no gain is the name of this challenge. Somebody tells me we're gonna have to use Peach. Oh, no, it isn't. Uh, okay, it's just the uh, reach areas, but looks like we're gonna have to make use of those enemies again. Oh, and you probably know what this means. Yes, we get to do our favorite setup in the game. Not really. <laughs> so you know those uh, very strong weapons we had? Uh, first, I should actually uh, put in a team I want. Rabbit Peach could pretty much stay, but we need Luigi for sure, probably. And then, uh, most importantly, we obviously need enough health, but probably most importantly, we don't want to take out the enemies. So, yeah, that's right, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna set everyone back to their starting weapons. Because <laughs> we don't want to push them or take them out. If we don't do that, um, we won't be able to use the strategy. And then from there, I think I'll just kind of figure out what to do from there. Well, I think the first thing I need to do is very obvious. Itchy feet and then see where we can actually even go so our problem one is gonna be over there but let's see what the other characters can do first Mario can't move anywhere gosh dang Mario <laughs> again Mario just as useless as always he'll probably have to be hit by an enemy to make it Rabbit Peach, what about you? You can go there. All right. Hmm. And then, otherwise, yeah. I'm a bit concerned what to do. I kind of get how am I going? How I'm going to get to the third part. The problem is doing this for the second part. So anyway, um, Mario, you have the weakest attack setup, so I'm just gonna have you go right now and attack the enemy. Let's hope that this knocks us in the right spot. I guess this is why it's called no pain, no gain, because, well, you're gonna experience a lot of pain by getting bounced everywhere. Alright, that did not work at all. Well, uh, that's a reset. Like I said, this is blind play. We don't know exactly what to do. But we can't, you know, round either. So it's like, what do we even do? Yeah, so that is going to really mess us up. 
I don't Ice like how Mar they weakened Mario's range so badly that they just <laughs> it just barely isn't enough to make it over. And the other characters do still need to be in an area to actually I think I should try my second idea first. Well, it won't really matter. I actually no way, it won't really matter because Mario has to move like this or else he's gonna Actually, I have a better idea. I could probably make this work. I'm just going to have to change my trajectory a bit. So instead of bouncing from the side, I'm going to try bouncing from this left instead. We're going to try this a few times and see where we can go. The idea is we want to be reflected off of the wall, but ideally in a way that puts us in a good spot. That didn't work. I'm gonna try this for a couple of times. If it doesn't work still, then this is where I get really confused and have to look up the stuff. I was hoping Mario could just move into that other area. That's actually what I was gonna do before the setup. Let's go. Before doing a different setup, but uh, yeah, clearly that wasn't gonna work. Oh, actually. Maybe it can work, I just can't do it from there, I don't know. Uh, we'll try one more time with this block, and then maybe one more time with a different block. Uh, basically, we want to keep trying until Mario lands in that spot. Oh, okay, perfect. Now this should hopefully work. Oh, what? It just flips him back around instead. I am so confused why this isn't working, but, uh, whatever. If we need to, we could use other characters to help us. We could also technically use that other Smasher as well, but it's like, what's the point? Hmm. I just realized... I just, by the way, I just got a big brain idea that I probably should have noticed. Mario can't even move our characters. So you know what I'm gonna do? Is instead of firing Mario and moving him right away like I was gonna do, I should stop being an idiot and just attack this enemy right now. Now all of our characters are gonna get moved. This might take out Luigi, but I don't care because um, this challenge is still old. No pain, no gain. So we have to do something, right? And sure enough, yeah, it looks like this was the solution. So, in case you haven't noticed, we don't have enough range to move to where we need to go. So we pretty much have no choice but to take a bounce with all three of our characters instead of just one. And now we should have enough range to at least partially move to our spots. And then Luigi can finish off the turn again later. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yes, the enemy super effects are automatically forced to happen. So, of course, that means we are automatically going to be knocked each time. Alright, um... This is the part I'm actually worried about, because this enemy is behind a cover. Normally, I was actually going to use a different setup to have him bounce me a different way, but this is actually a problem. It's not that I can change this either. I have to stay in this exact spot or else Mario should have turned. Hmm. Uh, now I might actually be kind of stumped. <laughs> we could maybe try one more time with another segment, but... Um, Or do we have to go? That's the question. Yeah, probably just gonna have to bounce off that wall and hope something happens. Uh, but I guess, no, wait, no, no, no. It might not be look like it, but I think we might be able to survive. It just depends on what happens after this. out I 
I could probably make this work. It's just that uh, this actually looks like kind of a tough battle. Well, I kind of figured out the first part now. For sure, we have to buff our characters before we get moved, but we also have to make it so they get attacked right away. And Mario has to be the one to do this. If he doesn't do it, there's no way he's going to get to the area otherwise. I guess that's why it's called No Pain, No Gain because they expect you to do this. So they, uh, we all pretty much all have to get bounced. See, can we heal? No, we do not have enough range. That's what I was actually going to do initially, but no, uh, it's fine. So I'm going to try again, but this time Mario is going to be over here instead. Maybe that will work better. Then Rabbit Peach will go here. See, those spots aren't bad. It's the second spot that I'm confused about what to do. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, never mind. I guess I already found the solution. As long as Luigi has max range and team jump range, if Mario moves there, you can just do that. And, yeah, I think you're probably supposed to use another tail, but... Honestly, this seems the only solution was just have everyone get attacked right away, and yeah, that's the end of that. By the way, we are only halfway through this, and there's still a lot of challenges to go. Uh, I think this is taking a bit too long. Sad to say, I think I have to cut out the video now. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, guys, but yep, yeah, this is a two-parter for these challenges. Though, to be fair, you probably should have expected that this world is freaking long. Anyways, that's only half of the challenges, unfortunately. Sorry, guys, but you'll have to see the other half in the next episode. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video, though. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video where we finish those challenges, maybe. Bye.